Hey guys, what's up? So I will be reviewing um, my first Avengers Endgame set. Uh, that's just the price tag. I forgot that was on the box. And if I take that off, it'll probably rip it, so I'm not going to try. Um, but yeah, so this is the first Avengers Endgame set that I have. I'm planning on getting all of them this year. Uh, this is the Captain America Outriders Attack set. It has, uh, it's recommended for ages 6 plus, and it has a piece count of, or this is set number 76123, it has a piece count of 167, and the price, and the price is $19.99, well, I got it for $15.99, I don't know why, but it said $19.99 at the store, so... That's kind of weird, but... Uh, so yeah, let's review the minifix first, and let's get to the set. And, uh, this is kind of cool because, uh, if you guys didn't know, the first Infinity War set I reviewed had Captain America as well, so... That was cool. Um, this is the new Captain America from Endgame. Uh, I really like it. This is my favorite minifigure of 2019. Um... And he has the new Quantum Realm suit, that's what everybody's calling him. We're not sure if it's the Quantum Realm suits, but if it is, why does Ant-Man need one? So, um, but it, my guess is that this is a Quantum Realm suit, and it's so they don't get s sucked through a time vortex, as, um, Janet Van, Van Dyne was saying in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, or maybe this is... Or what I'm thinking is this forms the suit of the time period they're going to. For example, like, uh, the set photos, it said, uh, set to the first Avengers movie, the Battle of New, uh, New York, shows Cap in his first Avengers outfit, so maybe this forms, like, it, the wrist, or the hand things they were, maybe that, the suit comes out of there and forms over this, uh, which suit of the time period it is, basically, um, but yeah, so he has a new shield, which is amazing. Let's take a look at this. And this is, uh, and I like it better than the other ones. Mainly because I wish it was, a. Uh, I wish they molded this piece in silver. It would look way better if it was molded in silver. Um, but yeah, let's, it's, uh, outlined, this is printing. It's outlined in black, which looks nice. And yeah. I'm going to use this for my custom for sure. Uh, it has uh, all these dots all over it like everybody. Pr the only two mini figs that don't have these in that don't have these suits in the end game sets are Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Um which is weird cuz in the trailer it showed Iron Man with one, so I don't know. But uh this new helmet piece Absolutely amazing. It's kind of thick on the back. That doesn't really bother me that much. At least on this head. Doesn't bother me. And I'm glad they did this after like six or seven years. So, yeah. And then this head is way, way off compared to the skin tone of Lego's. Lego skin tone. So I'll be probably repainting that my custom because it does kind of share a resemblance to Chris Evans maybe a little bit but I'm not I'm not sure uh, and then this looks like Chris Evans kind of more than this one and then there's the back um, and yeah let's put the helmet back or his mask back on or whatever that you guys call it and that's basically it. And of course, as like the Infinity War sets, we have Outriders. Now, these guys, same face and uh, same torso print from Infinity War. All that's different is these, and that's basically it. So there's three of them in this set. As you can see right there, there's two of these ones, and then one different one. 
Uh, yeah, Lego re could really replace these with a different minifigure. I honestly don't need to review these. These came in literally every Infinity War set. And they come in pretty much every Endgame set except for one. Um, so yeah, these guys just... Um, but yeah, so let's review the actual set. So the set right here has... Um, so on the front right here it has... Uh, what do you call these? Maybe like a flamethrower type thing. Uh, and on the front. And then you could take these off. On the box it shows Captain America holding one. Which is kind of weird because it's... Because who has a gun that's taller than them? It's literally taller than the minifig itself. So that's kind of weird. Um, but I guess little kids, like probably 8 year olds and under won't mind. Um, but I... Uh, I don't really mind either, either, uh, either. Um, but this set, it, in the pictures I saw, it looked way bigger, but this is perfect, kind of, it's, uh, obviously off scale, but it's, um, it's obviously off scale, sorry for the background noise, but, um, it's cool though, and you push these, and it shoots discs, which have the Avengers A on them, which is kind of cool. I'm going to use, the, it came with an extra one, and I'm going to use that for the base, with um, where I'm going to put all of my endgame customs once I build them. Uh, it has an exhaust pipe, or it has exhaust pipes on the back with these pieces. And then here's another one, blaster thing. With these, which are kind of cool. I love these pieces. Um, I just wish I had them in blue for Iron Man. I'm still going to probably buy the Sanctum Sanctorum set from Inf Infinity War. And then the shield goes right here on this clip. This is kind of a terrible review. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not very good at... I don't have, like, a editing software like other YouTubers. And then he can just hold on to here. I don't really feel like doing it, so I'm just going to just place him in there. Uh, and then I guess the Outriders could be maybe holding on to here. Actually, yeah, here, let's take one of these Wolverine claws off of this dude. Uh, honestly, they, Lego could have replaced these with a different minifigure like Iron Man or Nebula or something. But of course, they have to do freaking Outriders. Or they could have they could have replaced him with a new Captain Marvel because the one from Captain Marvel wasn't accurate and the movie's already out so they might as well just fix it. Um, but yeah, you could probably have it like that on here, and you could have one be on the front and get hit with this. Or I don't really know, but uh, this is, this is a really cool set. Um, and again, I'm planning on buying all of the Endgame sets. The next one will probably be the War Machine Buster, which, another funny thing is, the next Infinity War set I reviewed after the Captain America set was the Hulk Buster. So, and I, sadly, that's in pieces, kind of. I modified it, and I do not have the legs for it, so I cannot compare the two. But, I will probably buy another Hulk Buster just to compare the two. Um... But yeah, this figure is absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's a hole at the top, which I don't know why. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out uh, again. Why Lego? Just why?